today I'm here with a new video and today we are going to talk we are I don't know why I always said that say that because it's I am going to talk about I did a video in the end of 2019 where I talked about I think it was five brands that I wanted to try and now I'm going to do a little recap and see if I've tried them but I'm also going to talk about some brands that are new for me this year that I've tried and I think these are all the brands this was actually so, so hard but I think I have three brands that are new for me at least for eyeshadows okay we're coming into that but okay I'm going to talk about the five brands um, that I talked about last year so I think we just hop into this so the first brand I talked about was sugar pill and have I tried something from sugar pill yet no I have not I really want one of their capsules palette I think it's the second one or third one I really want they haven't come to beauty bay and I think someone's ultra exclusive so I couldn't try them and I have been thinking about buying the fun size palette the mini one it hasn't been in stock <laughs> at beauty bay when I ordered other things so I have actually not tried sugar pill yet and I don't know if I want to do it now or maybe but it's nothing like it was more last year that I really 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 wanted to try sugar pill now maybe not I'm not like that intrigued by sugar pill anymore I don't know why but I'm just not the second brand I talked about is actually a brand that I have tried and that was black moon cosmetics and I said I wanted the neutral orb of light palette and also a red roll <laughs> red lip bundle and I actually bought I don't know if I can reach it I actually bought the orb of lights it looks like this these shadows are really really good I haven't used this palette much at all but the shadows are really really good I haven't tried any of their lipsticks I actually did buy this last year at Black Friday and I was thinking about buying the lipstick this Black Friday but it was so much other things that I wanted to buy more so I just didn't do it but yeah this I tried it's a really really good palette it's just that I don't know what to do with it on my channel because I don't is this even something you want to see I don't know but yeah I've tried Black Moon Cosmetics, I really like it. The third brand was Cleonad and I... Okay, I. this is my an unpopular opinion. I talked about the stained glass and they... Cleonad does some cool, super cool like... duochromes and multichromes. I think I've come to the conclusion that that is not my thing am i alone with that i think it looks so cool when people do videos on them and do makeup looks with them but when it comes to my own makeup i don't know i don't know if i want something like that on my eyes i have some duochromes and some multichromes in my collection that is like in a palette I bought not because of the multichrome or duochrome but it's not it's not my favorite shades and they look really cool swatched I and they can look really cool on the eyelid but like one shade even though it is a multichrome all over my lid I don't think it actually is my thing is it only me <laughs> so I I don't know if I want to try Cleona actually. I know they have other things as well, but like the multichromes are the big thing. They look amazing, but I just think like I'm mesmerized about the swatches and the swatches is not going to be on my eyes. So I don't think I want to try Cleona anymore. 
I just realized that. The second to last brand I was talking about was Divina. I still haven't tried Divina. I still want to. But it is... I don't know. I don't know where to begin. I know some shades I want to try. And I have actually like been close to buying it more than once. But in the checkout I am like... No. This... This... This is too much money. Um, because the shipping is so high. And like I know that I've picked customs and everything. And then how this year have been with uh, all the pandemic and everything. And packages have gone lost. And it, it's taken like months. I haven't been that intrigued. And I don't know if I will try Divina next year. I have no idea. But I still haven't done it. And... I'm doing okay, actually, without Divina, but I'm still intrigued, but I'm. it has settled down a little bit with Divina as well. And the last brand I talked about was a brand that I've been eyeing for years, years and years. And that is Necromancia, I think it's Necromancy, how can I never, they, they do amazing lipstick. The colors on their lipstick, I just love them. I haven't bought a lipstick from them yet. I don't know if I will do it because this year I really realized that like liquid lipsticks is my thing. I've tried bullet lipstick. I have a bullet lipstick on today. I like it but liquid lipstick is really my cup of tea when it comes to lipstick. They are easy to paint on, they usually hold up so much better than a bullet lipstick. I I just love lip, liquid lipsticks more. So I, if anybody would ask me, hi, do you want a lipstick from Necromancia? I would say yes, 100%. Don't know if I would buy it though, but Maybe sometime in the future, but I haven't, and it is actually... I'm not that super intrigued anymore, because I've come to the conclusion that liquid lipstick is my thing. So okay, then to the brands that I have tried this year. This brand, we can start with a brand that I'm not sure if I bought it this year or last year. I think it was last year. It's likely makeup, and maybe I should take palette from this brand. This clown blush, I think I bought it last year. I think it was. But this one was a new brand for me. Really love these blushes. These are my most pigmented blushes ever. But I think it actually was last year I bought this. Was it? I'm not sure. Then we can take the other brand that I've tried before, but I haven't tried any eyeshadows, and that is Glass Gods. This is a Swedish indie brand, and I have two palettes, but I'm just going to show you this. This is Touch Me. This is in a collab with one Swedish influencer that I've been following for years. Her name is Ida, and Spindelsven is the name she goes under on the interwebs. But it looks like this. I did a first impression with this video. It didn't get so many views because I guess this is a small Swedish indie brand. But I really like this palette. I did a red look. I can leave my first impression up here. I liked it. I tried some highlighter from them before but not eyeshadows and I really like it. I... I like this palette. It's like a dark rainbow palette. So this is a new eyeshadow brand for me. Then also <laughs> a brand that was not new to me but I never tested any of their eyeshadows before. I have some brushes from them that I love but it is BH Cosmetics and I was one of these that bought the Sweet Shop palettes. I have a video that is, I think it's one and a half hours, where I do a look with all of the five that I bought. I can show you. Okay, I don't need to show you more than one. Um, this is the cotton candy. These, like, I don't 
ever think people have talked so much about, or I know that nobody have talked so much about a release from like Beach Cosmetics or like one of these cheaper brands that are, it's just a brand. They usually don't do amazing stuff, but when these came out, people were crazy. And that's why I bought them. And th these Sweet Shop palettes are amazing. I know that they are restocking them. I don't know when this video is coming up. They may be out of stock again. But I was blown away. These are like cheap palettes. Not super cheap, but like affordable palettes. And they are so freaking good, all of them. And it's just like the shimmers in these palettes. Amazing. I actually want to try more from Beach Cosmetics. But I know that not all their palettes are these this good as these Sweet Shop was. But yeah. These blow me away. So much. And the last brand that is new for me this year is Nomad. I have two palettes from them actually. I have Tokyo Haruko and Oriental Express. This I got yesterday so I haven't opened it yet or I haven't tried it when I'm filming this. So I'm just going to show you this one. This is Tokyo Haruko palette. I have a Free Looks One palette with this one. It looks like this. People talk so much about Nomad. My friends are on YouTube so I really really want to try them. Pull the trigger, I bought this one. And this is a little bit special to work with. It is a really like sheer palette. If you know how to use it, it is really good. And down here, these are duochromes. And yeah, it's not my favorite palette because it's not like what I prefer. I think this is perfect for people that want to get in a little bit to color and maybe just have a little pop of a pink or an orange or a light pastel yellow. It is good. It is not my favorite palette, but I liked it so much <laughs> that I want to try something more from Nomad. And I guess it says a lot. And also... The people that are running Nomad, they are so kind. They have contacted me on Instagram and like thanked me for doing a video with their brand and talked about the brand and that really makes me happy and they are such sweet persons, the person behind Nomad, Felicia and Anti. So Nomad was the last brand I was going to talk about that has been new for me this year. This palette is one of the cutest palettes that I have. You can see it like that. It's not the best one but it's the cutest one. And that was actually all the brands I was going to talk about. Maybe I've tried some new when it comes to like lipstick and stuff. Or maybe I haven't. Okay, so that was all for this video. I really hoped you liked it and I hope that you are liking all my videos that I'm doing now in December. It is hard, <laughs> but it's still really fun. And have you tested any of these brands that I have talked about? Please let me know what you think of them. I think it's fun to come across new brands and like really been amazed by them. I love that. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do and I hope I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye!